Hello everyone, two years ago, I made a video on uh, Badger's Discord API and Discord Ace Perms. It has been two years, people are still having problems with it, and I wanted to come back and make a little bit of an updated video, even though that video still works. I can make one explaining some of the changes that the Discord API has gone through and kind of do just an updated way of how to install it. Um, so if your server looks different than it did two years ago, which it probably does, you can learn how to install it today. So if you want to check out that old video, uh, feel free. You can find it on my channel from two years ago, but this is all you're going to need. Um, they have a very good documentation for all of their Discord um, things and all of their resources here. I'll leave a link to this down in the description. Read this if you need help. Um, a lot of people asked for help in my Discord last time I made this video, and they still do two years later. I'm going to ask you if you need help with this, please contact them in the correct spaces. You can read their wiki, and if you read it all, you can figure out how to get support from them. So just keep that in mind and keep that in mind while we go through this video. But it should be pretty straightforward. The things you are going to need, a Discord server. That's pretty obvious. I'm going to be using my Discord server for this. You're going to need a Discord developer application account. It's literally just going to discord.com slash developer slash applications. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. I have a lot here. You don't need a company under this. You can do it as a personal account. Doesn't matter. All you need to do is have that. And then if you're going to do roles and stuff like that, you will need your role IDs. We will go through that in a little bit. And you're going to need a guild ID for your server. So in this case, right click, copy server ID. If you don't see that, I'll show you how to do that once we get to that step. That's all you need to install the overall Discord API and ensure it's working. Very simple. I think it's pretty simple, right? Let's go ahead and get started then. So you're going to come over here to GitHub, press that big green button, and press download zip. And you're going to open this up with WinRAR, WinZip, however you want to open up these files. For me, I open up with WinRAR because it keeps it very simple for me. And then you're going to see it says Badger Discord API dash main. There's something a lot of people don't do which can cause problems like deferring connection or one of those many things. You're going to drag this into your resources folder and you are going to rename this folder and you are going to get rid of that dash main. It needs to exactly be Bagger Discord API. That simple. Do not have it as anything else or you're going to run into problems. A lot of people ran into problems last time I did this video because they didn't rename it correctly. So please actually rename it. There is a readme on here as well, which just goes over their installation guide, which is the same one we're reading off of on there. The Discord API, all of that good stuff can be through here. It also gives you a list of the groups that utilize this API and the developer API documentation if you're doing a custom script and you want to utilize it yourself. Pretty simple. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So inside of your config.lula, is where we're going to set all of our different aspects. You have a guild ID, you need a name and a guild ID. This is pretty much the first step that you're going to do. You're going to go into Discord. If you don't have a guild ID when you right click here, you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to advanced and turn on developer mode. Make sure this is checked on. Then you can come back, right click and press copy server ID. Now that we have copied our ID from Discord, you can see there's two places we can put this. If we were using multi-guild, which means you have multiple Discord servers, you would put a name here for that and the ID here. We are not doing that. We only have one guild. So we're just going to place it under guild ID as the primary guild. Go ahead and save that. Now you can see there is a debug mode. If you're having problems, you may want to enable this. You can cache roles and then you can request how often that role is cached and cleared, all of that good stuff. You can change your info for Discord and server names and stuff if you want this um, set up. It's up to you. You can also just disable it here. And this is where you need to now set up the bot token and if you choose the role list, because that's actually what you're going to use. So why don't we go ahead and get started? We're going to go into our other Discord developer portal and we're going to create a new application. You are going to create a name for this. I'm going to call it 5M Recording Server. Pretty simple. You can set it under your personal. That is what's going to be there 99% of the time for all of you, unless you have a company account, and then you would select it under your company. Go ahead and press Create. 
and you now have a general gilded information here. Pretty simple. You're going to go to the Discord bot section. And in here, you can see I have a username. It auto filled in for some stupid reason as my email. If you ever need to email me, that was my email. And you can set your icon or banner or anything like that that you personally want. I'm going to disable it being a public bot. You do not want it to be a public bot because this is only for your server. So now that you have um, turned off public bot, you're just going to go ahead and press reset token here. Press yes. If you have 2FA on, you're going to go into your 2FA app and then search for Discord and enter that code. And once it verifies, you'll have a token. You only have one time to copy this token for those watching this video. This token has been reset by the time this video comes out. And you're going to paste this inside of bot token and go ahead and save that. All right. Once you have successfully turned off the public bot and copied and pasted your token, you are now going to go to OAuth 2. And in here, you're going to select bot under the URL generator. And in our case, you can select what you want to do. I'm just going to keep it easy and select administrator. And it's going to give you this link. Go ahead and copy this link, paste it into a new window. It will then pop up. You are adding an external application. Select the server you want to add it to. Mine's BJG LLC. Press continue. Press authorize. Confirm you are a human. And there you go. You can see it is authorized. And if I go into my server here and I go to our welcome messages, scroll down, we should be able to see that the bot has been added. And I'm going to search 5M recording server. Can see we now have the bot 8485 and to keep things easy so you can see it i'm just going to give it a name 5m recording server there it is it's going to add a role as bots so now i know it is a bot pretty simple it has permissions it is also going to be able to read our aspects now because we have put our token inside of the config file Pretty simple there. Now, it is up to you if you want to use this thing called role list. This makes it so you're able to see a specific role. So if you have like founder or like admin or something like that, when you are using one of the other scripts like Discord Ace Perms. If you don't want that, you do not have to fill this out. To be clear, if you fill this out and you get a deferring connection error, you did this wrong. So make sure to keep that in mind when you run into problems because that is the number one cause for it. I'm going to copy the example from over on their page inside this installation of how you set up this role list. So we're going to go in and copy this and we're going to replace their default one here and make sure you copy it without taking the bad formatting. So there we go. And make sure you don't. I don't know what what's the redo button because I've over, I just removed everything we just did. There we go. Redo. Redo. Can I? OK, it somehow took away my bot token. So I'm going to go back to Discord developer here. View the token and copy the token. And post it in there like that. And you can see we now have three examples for the roles. If we go into our 5M here, or not 5M, into our Discord here, we're gonna go manage our server settings, go to roles, and we can now view our roles. I have two roles. I have 5M server, 5PD server members and 5PD server admins. If you right click here or click this little more button, you can copy the role ID, and we're just gonna enter that. So the first one is 5M server members. Make this exactly the same as from Discord and 5PD server admin. So I've already messed up. This should have been 5PD. And 5PD server admin. Get rid of this last one. We're not going to need that. And you can see I've already messed up again. It wasn't member. It was member. It was member. It was not members. So it has to be exact and the roles must match. Otherwise, you are going to run into problems. I guarantee it. That's all you have to do here. You have set this up. You have set up your bot token. You have set up your guild ID. You have set up your role list. If you want to enable the script, you can do that as well. If you want to cache roles, you can do that as well. 
In this case, I do. I have nothing else that needs to happen. It's pretty simple. Now, we're going to go to our server.cfg file. And remember, we're going to copy the name of this folder, Discord API. Go to the server.cfg and add ensure the name of the resource, Discord API. That's it. You have successfully installed this. Now, if we go ahead and start up the server, we're just going to make sure we don't get any errors. This is the main thing to tell if there's anything wrong is to see, do you get errors in the console when starting up the server? If you do, you have done something wrong in this process. It is a pretty simple process, but trust me, issues do happen. You just saw me make two of them and quickly fix them just by misspelling something. So triple and quadruple check everything you do is if you have one problem, it's not going to work and you're going to have to debug the whole thing. So make sure to keep that in mind while you're going through this. I'm going to give the server a second to start up. I'll be right back. So now when we look in the console, you can see Discord API is up to date. We know it's started successfully. And then we look at here, successful connection to guild BGH development LLC. We are good to go. We have successfully installed and the API is working. Now we can go back and install Discord Aceperm. It's time to install Discord Aceperms. So in order to do this, they also have a list here of an example. Make sure to keep this in mind if you run into any problems and read all the documentation as well. You're gonna go to the Discord Aceperms download right at the bottom there. You can see it's the exact same thing. Press the big green button, press the download zip, and then you're gonna go ahead and open that with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open that up for your server. And you're gonna drag this once again, you can see all the things in there, straight into your resources folder. Right click, press rename, and get rid of that dash master. Make sure it's just Discord Ace Perms all together, no underscores, exactly like this. Otherwise, you're gonna run into problems. To keep things easy, I'm just gonna add ensure Discord Ace Perms below the Discord API. And to make sure this loads first in my server, I'm gonna move them all the way up to the top, right underneath where all the default um, methods for 5M loads. So this way, if any of my other resources use permissions, they will now be enabled by Discord Ace Perms. You can choose where to put that yourself. It is up to you. But the first thing to do is to now go into the Discord Ace Perms config file, and you can see there's a lot of stuff you can change. You have a server name, so I'm gonna rename this BGHD Development 5M recording server. I have a Discord link, which is going to be bghdevelopment.com slash discord. And my link itself is just going to be bghdevelopment.com. Should you have a refresh command? I say yes. That way you can do slash refresh perms in game and you can refresh them without a restart. Should you um, print any grants or removals? I'm going to say yes. Pretty easy. And how often should the refresh be throttled? You can do that as well. Now you're going to modify this role list. And we're going to do the same thing we did last time by going into our role list here and then actually going to server settings roles rather than users and scrolling down to where your roles are. I have two. I have an admin and I have a member. So I'm going to go in and copy the admin first and it's called 5PD server admin. So I'm going to go in here and change that. This is going to be group 5PD admin. And then I'm going to go once again to go in here. I'm going to copy the server member copy role ID, paste it in, group 5PD member. Just keep it easy. And I don't have any others, so I'm going to remove the others. These are your permission groups now. Group 5PD admin, group 5PD member. Pretty much that simple to set this up. Now that we have that set up, there is two other things we're going to have to do. At the top of your server.cfg file here, kind of where we put all this, right underneath where I have permissions.cfg, it's up to you where you want to put this, but in average, most people put it at the top. You're going to add add ace, discord ace perms command add principle allow. That's the first one. Paste that in. And you're going to add another one. Add ace, resource, discord ace perms command remove principle allow. Just at the top of your thing. That's pretty simple to add. It's two lines, but they are required to make this work. If you forget these, things aren't going to work. So keep in mind, you got to do that. And once you have those two lines at the top, it's time to actually add your permissions. So you can see if we scroll down to where our permissions are currently, I'm currently using Steam identifier permissions. What this means is I'm taking a Steam ID and adding it to a default group as admin. Group.admin is my current group. Then I'm going to take this group.admin and add it to commands. So you can see I have it as smart sign commands, the update helper commands, the Sonoran radio commands, all are allowed to group.admin, which is pretty interesting. So now that we have that set up, and this is by default, it doesn't matter what you have here by default, you're going to change this. So if you go back to our config where you can see our groups, you see we have a group 5PD admin. 
and a group 5PD member. So if we go back into our server.cfg now knowing that, we can change this. You no longer need these add principal steam. I'm going to keep them here and just blank them out because I still use them for other people who aren't in our Discord. But now you can go ahead and add this principle, like the Sonoran Tower commands, to a different group. So if I wanted to change it from group admin, I could now do group 5PD admin. And same with all these other commands. I can switch them from the default to group 5PD admin. The reason for this is because now that's how we're getting our roles. You no longer get them through the default group admin. The group is now called 5PD admin from here. And let's say you wanted a member to have the permission, you would just add group 5PD member. So pretty simple, just changing that up. On the 5M home screen, we're gonna go ahead and connect to our server. And you can see it's going to defer connection and then load up this little page that we have already um, we didn't disable it, but it was enabled inside of that Discord uh, API system. If you wanted to disable that, all you have to do, go back into your server, your resources, go down to wherever that Discord API is. Wherever you may have it, it's called Discord. There it is. Back to Discord API. Go into your config, edit it, and disable that splash screen. And you, Or you can change it to whatever you want or change how many times you want to wait for that. So that is what this is here, the config splash but you can see we have joined our server. We are joining our server, which means we have successful. We haven't received any errors. Things are loading properly. We have connected to the guild and pulled that permission data successfully. One way to see if your roles are being added successfully is if you go into the console, once you try to connect to the server, you can see it added my username to both the 5PD admin and the 5PD member role. And then if I go ahead and remove one of those roles from me, let's say we remove the admin from me and I go in game and I just go ahead and type slash refresh perms and go back in here you can see i've only been now added to the group 5pd member so we know that the role sync is working successfully between discord and our server so that is pretty much it we have installed it you can see it has successfully added and removed the player when they disconnect from the server that's pretty much it that is the whole resource now you can go ahead and use the um group like the group that you set up in any other resource that uses ace permissions so it's pretty easy to do that if you have questions i recommend reaching out to the author through the wiki make sure to read all of the wiki and you'll figure out how to get support and go from there um, but that is it for today's video hopefully you did enjoy and if you want to see me use these and other resources let me know down in the comments and i can do a video on that as well thanks for watching everybody see you next time